Hi, everyone. This is Audio Heads, part of Geeks Assembled. And today we're reviewing Torchwood and what's it called? Broken. Broken. It's a about basically about how Yanto and Jack get together and start their relationship. Mm. And um it's it's really a three hander. There's the bar keep, there's Yanto and there's Jack. And it's good to, it, it uh, I think it comes right before um, in terms of release dates right before oh what's it called um, anyway it's uh, <clears throat> it's slotted right after um, right after the the first three episodes of Torchwood it's it's uh Set after Cyber Woman, isn't it? it it's it, yeah, it's but it's set after um, after Countryside too, because mm -hmm. he's talking like, holy shit, what I just saw in the country! Oh my god, these people, <laughs> this blood. He's telling the barkeep all about that. Anyway, um, yeah, so big finish, uh created it uh three hander and so what are your opening thoughts about uh about this i always like i always like a story of what fills in uh things that you don't see on screen and as i said to have this one following on from cyber woman and say um countryside it, it's um it's a, it, it's good because you can see how broken Yanto is uh -huh. after his girlfriend was killed by Jack. Uh, the way he feels about him, you know, the only sanctuary he can go to is uh, the, the pub and open his heart out to the barmaid. Um, it you do you do get a sense of. Um, He's a loner. Uh -huh. He wants to. He wants to be acknowledged. He wants to be loved. He wants to be involved with the team, but the team seem to always leave him behind. Don't even realize he's there. Um, and his his life just goes from worse to you know bad to worse. Yeah. Uh, you know in the, in the one where he, you know he's, you know. He's ringing her up, saying he's taking pills, and he's. You know, um, that's how he's sort of suicidal at that point. Yeah, suicidal, yeah. Um, you say he can't get over. Yeah, the, we, we, we just like to warn you that the, the the discussion of this includes the discussion of suicide. So please, if you need help, uh, yeah. you can get help in the United States if you. If you need help for feelings that are overwhelming, mm -hmm. uh, dial 988. Anyway, go on. That's in the States. That's in the United States, yeah. In, in the UK, the Samaritans are always at the end of the phone. Good. Um, yeah. He's, and he's he's becoming a regular in, 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 in this pub. Uh, and he's opening his heart out to, to, to the barmaid. Um, but she's halfway through, you're thinking she's too good to be true. She's got, she's always got, you know, supporting him. She's got his back. Um, she's giving him advice. And, and then you hear this story about people uh, disappearing from that area. Uh -huh. You think, oh, now is this a connection here? And then Jack gets involved. Uh huh. Um, played by John Barrowman when Big Finish employed John Barrowman. Um, yeah, it's a good. I mean, the environment of the pub as well. It's where everybody goes, and it's to be sociable. So, right. just, 
to relax, to have a good time. <coughs> um, so it's a good a good um, location setting for this story. So yeah, I enjoyed it. As I say, there's a twist at the end, of course. There is there is alien um, involvement in this. Yeah. So, so, but back to you, Susan. Yeah. So, uh, Yanto's got a lot to get over, and um, <clears throat> and he's struggling with, especially with the 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 falling uh, off the face of the earth that had to happen due to the. Um, <clears throat> The fall of Porchwood in London, the yeah. Canary Wharf. I mean, he was there then. And he saw so many of his people turn into Cybermen. And, and, and you learn also as well that Yvonne Hartman was the one to sort of set him up with, the, with his girlfriend from yeah. there. So, you know, great character, Yvonne Hartman. Yeah, um, yeah, really. Like, I love the fact that that they are, they've expanded that part of Torchwood too. Mm -hmm. In in recent in recent uh, Torchwood audios, there's been a lot of of Torchwood one. Uh, the Cardiff Wales tor Torchwood is Torchwood three, I think, and um. And yeah, he's uh, he's talking about the the response of uh, he talks about how he's not um, he's not really able to completely connect with uh, Tosh or Owen yeah. or uh, Gwen. And he thinks that Jack is really only interested in Gwen. But he uh and and the 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 question Jack has it is you know um is is he um is is he going to reciprocate if if Jack puts forth feelers, you know? And but Jack is also not really sympathetic yet. He becomes mm. sympathetic throughout the series, throughout the three series. And then he becomes unsympathetic again in Children of Earth. But um you know for one of the big character arcs for Jack is that you know you're starting to see, you're starting to see the same Jack that that uh, that was present in Doctor Who. That's that's really what you're looking for, and um, yeah, his tough day at work. He's he, Jack is like. Uh, is even saying like, yeah, I, you know, I don't know why you're wearing a suit all the time, and mm -hmm. and sometimes your coffee sucks. Yancho didn't like that, did he? Yancho didn't like that. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I don't know that he was, uh, you know, you don't. What what they could have added was the sound effect of. The coffee machine, but they <laughs> never did the in this one. Yeah. Uh, unlike unlike maybe other people, I didn't think that Yanto was making the coffee. I thought he always went to a coffee shop to get it, but he didn't. He went. He he apparently had his own makers up up on the the ground level. I don't know. Yeah, that was a question. And uh, the yeah the the alien creature at the end was the savior. Okay, savior. so 
what are some of the things you think of or or stood out to you or you really liked or you, you had questions uh, with? Um, I just like the way... I know you chose this kind of... Uh, you suggested this. I chose it, but you suggested this, right? Yeah. Um, I just like the way you, you find it goes deeper into Yanto's... Uh, psyche is his way his life is just rock bottom everything he does just falls apart I mean even even he, when his mother phones up and tells him they've, they've discovered a lump you know um, so you know there's there's no positive news for him um, and the only good thing out coming out of this, at the end of this, is his relationship with Jack is much much closer. Yeah. Um, but he's put two and two together as Yanto, and realizing there's something wrong in this pub. Yeah. Um, and he also really really hated Jack enough for him to throw him through the saviour into another world to be devoured or whatever it was what's happening over there he he'd wanted nothing to do with Jack there he just you, you know get rid of him you're all tr you're just trouble you kill you kill my girlfriend you kill Tosh's uh lover yeah the other um, alien yeah you know, so he just threw him into the saviour, where the saviour devoured him, um, and then he went. He went. He left. He gave. He gave um, Mandy a second chance to go leave, because that's the type of person he is. Give him second chances. Mm -hmm. Yanto is a nice guy, and, and nice guys always seem to get trampled on. Mm. Um. But yeah, it's uh, well acted. I mean, it's it's, it's Yanto's story with mm -hmm. a supporting Captain Jack in this. Um, but it's, it's just it's just so sad the way his life is going on and on, and there's no, no nothing there to look forward to. You know, and he's he's crying in front of the barmaid. He, he you know he's. Starting to drink a little bit more, spending more and more time in the pub. Um, great Some, idea. Somehow she's able to elicit like the the what Torchwood is about. Mm -hmm. Jack doesn't like that. He doesn't like people talking about Torchwood. But um, it's a good. It's say it's a great idea to place it in a pub. Now this is written by Joseph Lid Lidster. Who has said that he's working offices in a pub? Um, <laughs> it does like a tipple. Um, so I don't know. I'm just wondering if the idea of this came to him while he was sat there enjoying a drink. I'm going to have to ask that. But yeah, it's. I mean, it could have been said. Oh, I mean, okay. Been... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, you you just said something that 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 sparks a memory. Have you been uh, speaking with this fellow? What, well, Mister L Mister Lidster? Yeah. Well, message every so often. That's really really yeah. awesome. That's wicked yeah, he's awesome. He's a writer. You know, he's a he's, he's a writer. He's done stuff for. Torchwood, um, Sarah Jane Adventures for TV, stuff like that. You know, he's, uh, he's recently, I think it's just, as we said, Torchwood won. He's just recently done one of the new stories in the new box set. Um, yeah, he's, he, he, uh, I think he must know the ins and outs of a pub huh. to get the feel right for this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to have to, uh, just mention, ask him if the idea for this did come while he was just contemplating, sat there. But, yeah. Uh, 
a great place to. I mean, there has been place other places in Torchwood stories, like as you say, the cafe, uh, the coffee calf, and things like that, where it's where everything's social, but for social meetings. Yeah. And this one, say so you just learn more and more about Yanto. Yeah. And, and to be honest, Yanto with the the, the amount of Torchwood audios there are now he's more, he's more important now than jack ever was in touch yeah i mean this uh, this is sort of his uh sort of his the long and short of his story isn't it yeah all the way from london mm-hmm. through or you know actually all the way from queen victoria to yanto to everywhere else that the Torchwood lays its feet, Yanto goes, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh he is sort of the the key that unlocks all of Torchwood, right? Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, Gareth David Lloyd who plays plays Yanto, he's he's written several audio Torchwood audios as well. So so he's, he's even writing for his own character. I who, see that. Who, you know, who knows Yanto better? And Gareth David Lloyd, right? Yeah. But so this is a good one. I, I like this. I like it. I like. I like these stories where they're just set in a a normal, sociable place, and it's. I mean, Touchwood is mainly that. I mean, we don't. We don't who you 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 jump in a space rocket and you go off into the far reaches of the universe. But uh, this is Torchwood. It's on Earth. The threat is on Earth. Uh-huh. And, and you're you're in the threat like, is in a pub where people yep. are 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 less inhibited and less uh, less able to make good decisions. I mean, the the danger of of being intoxicated in a pub is that that you start opening your mouth because you just have so much to say. Well, well, that's what Yanto does as well, isn't it? Uh, it's just you suddenly have no inhibitions, and mm. you just and the 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 the. The interesting thing was Jack ordering a water with Yanto ordering his fifth beer. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, this is going to go somewhere, I know. Well, maybe Jack doesn't drink. Well, yeah, but maybe also, you know, he knows that he has to stay sort of focused mm-hmm. in the moment because... Because of what's going on around him, and he knows, and Ianto will learn eventually that that everything around him is is in flux all the time. I mean, it, it, it's just great though at the beginning of this. Ianto uh, is just hating on Jack. Yeah, he's in that that place where he just hates and hates what he's done um, and, right? by, and by the end of this he's asking Jack to kiss him right and not just once but like two or three times and he catches him two or three times well there you go well, I mean like it's just you know it's the building of that relationship and the fact that, that Jack is on the on a long character arc to become sympathetic and not not just you know shoot first ask questions later the whole american ethos the the problem is you see is that the the two sides of the the pond have different responses to trials I mean, the other day, a little old man with a gun shot and killed uh, an Uber driver because 
somebody set it up so that it was he thought he was being ripped uh, stolen from and she thought he had uh had a package for her and so she went there trying to re re retrieve something and he's like no no go away and he just shot her i mean it's just that that's america that was so quintessentially america that's okay. why i just fight like tooth and nail against all this expansion of, of weaponry because mm. you know we don't need any more there's more there's more guns in this country than it, it, it's more than twice as many guns in the u.s as there are people it's ridiculous it is and you know anyway so we digress. <laughs> so, but no, but that's that, that. That's the way Jack starts out in yeah. Gone Ho. Yeah, Gone Ho. And and then Gone Ho, you know. And then he he shifts. He becomes more thoughtful, more uh, introspective, more uh, more compassionate, and then. Then you you see the dregs of him and, and children of Earth, and I just that that just trips me out. I mean, the thing what sh went listening to this again, what what shocked me most about this drama is um, Mandy, the the barmaid. I you assume she's all innocent, just wanting to help Yanto and all like that. Then it turns out. She's the one who gets these people to go to the savior. Yeah. And then that, but she also knows what happens to these people and she couldn't yeah. care less. Yeah. I mean, that's so shocking that the turn of a character just like that. Right. When she's been so helpful and thoughtful. Um, and she... Mandy was played by Melanie Walters. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, she got to know Yan, so she knew what he, you know, when he came in, she knew what drink he wanted, you know, and she was there easing him. She was mostly playing him. Yeah. You know, getting him to feel comfortable. And then, the, came, as I say, I never saw that coming. Uh, you know, cause it just came as a shock when she said, oh, I knew all that all, all along. Said, wow, what a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, but, but yeah, it's uh, well acted, as you say. It's a sort of a three. I mean, there is other actors in this. You know, Ross Ford played the saviour, and um, was it Harry Thomas played Glenda um, Yanto's mother? Yeah. Um, but it's, it's the main three. It's Jack Yanto and, and Mandy, really. But uh, yeah, great, great acting, great story as well. Uh, was it directed by Scott Hancock? Who directed it as well. Scott Hancock has done so many, so many mm. big finish things. Yeah. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed sitting down and re-listening to this. So it's been a while. When did this come out? 20, 2016. So been a, been a while since I listened to it. Yeah. The 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 one right after this, I think, is like one that we reviewed early in the the history of Geeks Assembled called Don't Look Now. Is that so one this one called? was that this one was that far back. Yeah. Yeah, well this is number eleven. So Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was good listening. Well acted and well written, well directed. Yep, I agree. And uh, what would your final say in score be? Uh, you see, I can't find fault with it. So I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this ten pints out of ten. Nice. And a packet of crisps. That's good. And I. Um, I agree. It's this is great. It's uh, 
it it really is a, it it is good to to hear John Barrowman and I'm I'm I mean I you know I I don't think that he got a fair shake recently. Well, he was thrown under the bus, wasn't he? Yeah, and so that that's that's problems for me, and I just think that he in this he was so this you could see his his character beginning to turn towards Yanto and that was great. I mean Yanto needed him in a big way. And that's it would say this fills in the gaps what we don't it know. It does about. fill in the gaps. Yeah. And and after Susie had died and his girlfriend had died and all those hundreds of people died up in Canary Wharf. You could see why Yanto was a little, uh, and then he uh, went to the countryside and watched people getting eaten. But I mean, like he was just, he had a lot of shit going on. And I felt really, I felt like this was a really important, you know, Yanto audio. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad we got to listen to it because It'll make the um, you know, if we if we end up doing some more of the Torchwood One stories or the Torchwood from London stories, that this one connects well, and oh, and you know the this one also talks about you know it, how he is comported why he wears a suit all the time why he just looks like such a such a professor such a you know just a a businessman instead of like a like a an alien finder i mean they found a they found a weevil and yeah well yeah yeah that that scene there uh, yeah i uh, mean how could you even deal with that while your tie is in the way? I mean, for crying out loud, what? <laughs> I don't know. This is that's just my feeling on the subject. And I I really liked it and I thought that that uh that it was it was an elaborate three part three hander, one parter. Mm-hmm. Anyway, like like most torturants are just one part. Um so I would encourage everybody to listen to it. I'll give it a nine point five um, weevils out of ten. Um, I um, think that, we, that we, we get half a weevil. Yeah, I only get half a weevil. Um, this uh, this is good. It, it Torchwood itself is a really um, it's it's a fun adult. Uh, audio series, mm-hmm. and this one isn't. This one isn't as risque as some of them. I mean, That's it's true. just it's just about a couple snogs and building relationship. And so, mm-hmm. in, in terms of adult content, it's adult content. It's not. It's not. You know. It's, it's, it's what not the, uh, boyfriend couple... girlfriend kind. It's. Built, it's hard building relationship kind of stuff and talking about work like how it feels to have a work relationship like is that is that safe is that a is that a good idea which you know in my in my humble opinion it never is but if it works out apparently my folks disagree and yanto and jack disagree so whatever i'm not not going to win that argument with them. Um, but we will uh, probably listen to a few more Torchwoods because they're really exciting and really good. And, and uh, yeah, so um, thank you, Lee, for joining me. Thank you, cool. yeah. watchers, for watching this video. Um let us know what you thought in the comments below. Leave us a comment if you want to join. Gotta be 18 because a lot of this stuff is really super 
um sex there's a lot of sex in torchwood and there's a lot of sex in in some of the other stuff that we talk about and review and mm -hmm. so you, all you need is a device a camera microphone and zoom and you should you should be uh all set and it would be really uh an amazing thing if you would if you'd like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. Oh, hang on. She does, anyway. it every, she does it every week and I never can hear it. Oh, all right. Oh, well, so, and there goes my camera. And so thanks for joining us. And by all means, uh, do enjoy the new Doctor Who series seasons that are being dropped on disney plus we're mm -hmm. reviewing those we did two of those reviews this week so whenever you get a chance mm -hmm. there's week. only only eight episodes as well this season look at look at those reviews though and uh you'll see that lee had a a wide variety of opinions on the, the beginning of this season oh my god it's just it's intense the difference. And I I held my tongue. I know you did. But anyway, um enjoy uh, enjoy, 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 and enjoy big finish. Oh that's the wisest thing ever to do. Yeah. Bye for now.